Live from Mount Pleasant Zone, this is New Central 34 at 5. Good evening and welcome to New Central 34. I'm Courtney Hunter. Many students are not happy about the planned appearance of controversial speaker Shirley Phelps Roper. A protest is being planned by some of the CMU students in response to Phelps Roper coming to address three different journalism classes on campus. On the Facebook page protesting the appearance, some students suggest simply ignoring her, but others think ignoring the problem isn't going to be enough. Some groups on campus plan to protest Phelps Roper by donating to charities such as the Trevor Project, which is a suicide hotline for gay and questioning youth while the Westboro Baptist Church member is on campus. Another statewide poll shows Republican gubernatorial candidate Rick Snyder leading his Democratic opponent Verge Bernero. According to the survey by Lansing-based Epic MRA, Snyder has an 18-point lead on Bernero at 55% to 37%. The survey also shows that likely Michigan voters have a more positive view of Snyder, with 52% viewing the GOP candidate positively and 30% who view him unfavorably. That compares to 35% who, who view Bernero favorably and 40% unfavorably. Campaign organi organize organizers for Michigan Republic Attorney General candidate Bill Schuette have agreed to stop airing a campaign ad after the parents of a Flint police officer who was killed in the line of duty said it was, quote, disrespectful. Officer Owen Fisher's parents said the Midland Republican never received permission to use their son's July 2005 death in his campaign. Fisher was killed after his patrol car collided with another police car while pursuing a drunk driver. David and Vita Fisher say Schutte's ad is incorrect and disrespectful to their son. Secretary of State Terry Lynn Land estimates that 3.8 million voters will cast ballots in Tuesday's general election. Michigan's chief election officer says the estimated 3.8 million is equivalent to 52% of the state's registered voters. Voter turnout is calculated by studying absent voter activity, past turnouts in gubernatorial elections, voter involvement, and information from local officials. And keep a close eye on News Central 34 all day Tuesday for continuing coverage of the election. We'll have crews throughout our viewing area and in Detroit as the major candidates await the final results. News Central 34 will bring you coverage throughout the day on the air and on our website, as well as continued updates on Mountain 101. We'll also bring you a special edition broadcast at 1030 with all the latest results and live reports from Detroit. Also be sure to keep up to date on our Facebook and Twitter page throughout the week for more election coverage. New statistics released by the Michigan Department of Energy, Labor and Economic Growth show some promising news for unemployment from the month of September. The new numbers show unemployment rates declining in 15 of Michigan's 17 major labor market areas for the month. The Ann Arbor area had the state's lowest jobless rate at 8.4%, while the Flint area had the highest at 13.7%. For the fourth time in five years, Mount Pleasant's income is expected to decrease due to falling revenue sharing numbers. The estimated 2010 revenue sharing came out to $2,514,500 compared to last year's $2,526,092. That means a total loss of $11,592. The money being lost makes up about 25% of the city's income and goes towards general services such as police and fire services. And that's all we have for today. I'm Courtney Hunter. Have a great weekend.